welcome to my channel. Today we're going to make these super easy gnome wine bottle toppers. You want to know how to make them? Stick around. I'll show you how. Okay, let's get started. What you're going to need for this project, first of all, you're going to need this pattern. I have a link to it in the description. And um, this fits a regular standard wine bottle this size. It does not fit the jumbo ones. So you're gonna go ahead and cut out your pattern. You're gonna get you a piece of felt. This one's a 10 by 10. That's about what you're gonna need to, to cut that out. You're gonna need a, some fur. Um, you're gonna need some trim. And I'll put where I got all this stuff too. You're gonna need some little rhinestone crystals. If you're gonna dress, if you're gonna decorate them up with the crystals, you don't have to. You're gonna need some um, either a bead or a piece of some felt um, balls for the nose, two pieces of string. If you're gonna make both the um, gray one and the white one, they're both exactly the same pattern. The only difference is I added, um, I put the Saborski crystals differently on the white one, but as far as the pattern goes, it's exactly the same pattern. Um, if you're gonna make all three of them, then you're gonna need um, two of the balls and you're gonna need this um, Tombow um, glue or any kind of glue that you use, but I'm telling you this Tombow glue is like the best glue ever for crafting All right, let's get started and you're gonna need a glue gun Okay, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go ahead and cut out our pattern and um, You're gonna take the fabric fold it in half and you're gonna place this right on the fold And then you're gonna pin it down and cut it out If you don't get this curved exactly straight, don't worry about it because that trim is gonna cover it up. Okay, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just fold it in half just like you cut it. And we're gonna put a bead of hot glue right down the side. And then you're gonna fold it over and glue it. Now you'll have to be patient because you're gonna want this to dry really, really good before you turn it inside out, otherwise it may come apart, so. And while that glue is drying, we'll just go ahead over here and we'll go ahead and cut out our beard. And you're gonna take the beard and make sure that the nap of the beard is going down like this. And then you're gonna just turn it over and you're gonna take your pattern, pin it to the back, and then we're gonna just cut around the beard. And I don't know if you've seen any of my other videos on how to cut a known beard, but I'm gonna show you again real quick. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna go right up underneath the fabric only, not the fur, and you're just gonna cut the backing only. So you can go all the way around, backing only, otherwise you're gonna cut your beard off. All right. Okay, now that you got your beard cut out, go ahead and get the excess fur off of it. And just kind of smooth it out. Okay, let's see. Okay, now that our glue is dry on our hat, we're gonna turn it inside out. And the easiest way to do that is to take a piece, a pair of pliers, stick it down into the hat and just pinch the, put the, put the end of it and pinch it in a little bit and just pull it out. And then you can go ahead and take your pliers, be careful not to go make a hole in it, but just push it on through to open it up. All right. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put our um, trim on it. And you're just gonna go start at the seam in the back and just start hot gluing it around. And make it hang over the edge just a little bit. And then just trim it off and overlap it and glue it. And let that dry real good. Then you can just fan that out. It'll it'll open up. It'll be more fuzzy. And it'll hide those edges of it too. Okay, now we're gonna put the trim around the top of it. And you're just literally gonna glue it around in a circle. Glue it shut. Have it stick up just a little bit. And then go ahead and just put the glue right down in the center. And you're gonna pinch it both ways. So just kind of squeeze it tight until it dries. 
and just kind of fan it out a little bit and it'll cover up the seam that you just got there. Okay, now we're gonna attach our beard. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put a bead of um, glue right across here. I'm gonna put it inside my hat and I'm gonna push it down, but then I'm gonna open my hat up just to make sure that no glue leaked behind it. Otherwise, you'll glue your hat shut and you don't want that. And go ahead and put plenty of glue because you're gonna need it. And just flip it over and let it dry that way. That way you make sure you, if you did get any glue in the back, it's not gonna close it up. Okay, and let that dry real good. And I did have a little bit of glue on the back, so glad I didn't close it. All right, now that that's dry, you can turn the beard back over and we're gonna attach the gnome nose. And you're just gonna lift up a little bit in the front. Add a little bit of glue to the nose and then center it and put it down and let it dry real good. Then peel it back just a little bit. I always like to put just like a dot of glue on the top to make sure it stays down. All right, and if you wanna add any um, crystals to it, you can do that now so it can lay flat to dry. I know they make tools to put these things down, but every time I've ever used one, it pulls it back up. So I'm just gonna literally glue it down and that'd be that. And the reason I'm using this Tombow glue is if you do get it off center or anything like that and you move it, the glue will dry clear. And after that dries, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my bottle and that's where you can see if your trim is not completely on there good. And then you can kind of touch it up in places where you need to. All right, there he is. First one done, pretty cute. Okay, next one we're gonna do, we're gonna do the gray one. Next we're gonna take a piece of fabric that's um, 23 by 13. This is a rabbit fur um, that I got at uh, Joann's. It's, it's a kind of a polyester um, backing on it, so it um, gives a little bit. I don't know exactly what you call it, but I know I've seen it. Every time I go to Joann's, they have it and I get some. So you just have to go in there and, and look for it. It's like a, um, like a rabbit fur is what it is. You could actually use anything you want, anything that's stretchy, like a fleece or anything you want. But I'm just gonna go down the side and I'm gonna try not to touch the fur because it'll stick to my glue gun. And then I'm dragging hair with it and I don't wanna do that. And we're gluing on the, the long side. And then you're just gonna take this and go over the top and glue it together. And you want that to dry really, really good before you start turning it the other inside out. Okay, while that's drying, you can go ahead and tie off one end. So we're gonna take a string and we're just gonna Bunch this up, not just fold it, but kind of bunch it like that. And we're gonna tie the end off. And this is the end that we're gonna put our little pom-pom at. Cut the string off. And um, I just trim a little bit off the top of it. Okay, and then on this end, we're gonna turn it up four inches because this is what's gonna make the cuff. Okay, and then we're gonna glue it down. And let that dry real good. And then we're gonna turn it in, inside out. Then um, go ahead and put your hand all the way down inside of it till you get to the very tip of the point, and that's where you're gonna put your little pom-pom. Put some glue on the top of it. Your pom-pom will cover it up because it's pretty big size pom-pom. And then just glue it on and hold it on until it dries. All right, while that's drying, we can, we can go ahead and do our cuff. We're just gonna fold it up two inches and then we're gonna glue it down. All right, now that that's dry, what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach our beard. I went ahead and cut the beard out. It's exactly the same beard as the first one. So you can go ahead and just cut the same pattern out. Again, we're gonna do just like, like the, the other one. Now, would you put this in because you're gonna want this to cover the nose a little bit. 
So you want to glue, not glue right onto the edge, but a little bit back. I'm just going to put it inside there. And leave a little bit for the nose to cover the edge of the nose to be covered up, and you're going to just glue it down. And again, go ahead and open it up just in case you got some glue in the back because you don't want to glue your hat together. Okay, and then all you gotta do is attach your nose. Just pull this back in the front a little bit and glue your nose down. And then add a little bit of glue to the back part of the nose and glue it down so it stays. And let that dry real good. These last two, this one and the white one, I just want to show you. You can't, if you don't want to put it on a bottle of wine, the Dollar Tree has these um, vases. They fit over these vases really good. So you could put some treats in there and just and put, a, and put the top on it if you didn't want to do a bottle of wine. All right, now he's just ready to go on to his bottle. Look how cute that is. Super nice gift. Okay, if you want to make the white one, I used a rabbit fur fleece that I got at Joann's. And um, just follow the same pattern as you did on the gray one. And I'll show you at the very end how I attach the crystals. All right, and then on this one, I'm going to actually put the Savorsky crystals around the top. And I'm just going to kind of evenly space them out. Just to the front. Okay, and I think I'm going to put a few of the little crystals on his... Um, pom-pom too. You just kind of randomly put them on there. All right, there you have it. How cute is that? If you like the hit video, hit like. If you want to see future videos, hit subscribe. And if you want to be notified when another video is available, hit the bell. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.